Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. Roman Fury, the brother of Tyson Fury, I'm sure the fans can see a, a blatant resemblance. Introduce yourself to uh, the boxing world, Roman. Yeah, Roman Fury. Um, I've been a bit of a quiet brother, some would say, but I'm here to make my name now. Obviously, um, I'm going to be pursuing a career in boxing as well. I'm just waiting for a few little things to get sorted out and then I'm ready to get on a few shows. But yeah, looking forward to this week. What is it with the Fury family? Because I understand you're the ninth Fury to turn professional, aren't you? Have I got that right? Yeah, there's so many boxers, you know, where it's cousins, uncles, whatever. But um, yeah, the ninth one, so he must must be in the genes to be able to fight. Well, all the other ones are like really big, massive lumps, like light heavyweights, heavyweights. Yeah. What sort of weight are you going to be? Obviously, you're a tall guy, but obviously you're not huge, so I'm guessing middleweight maybe? No, uh, light heavy at the minute. Okay. So, um, but I want to grow into cruiserweight. At the minute, I'm just playing around my weight a little bit, seeing what I feel best at. Um, but at the minute, my first fight is going to be a light heavy. So tell us your age and you know when when you actually came up with this idea, like you know what, I'm going to follow Tyson's footsteps and I'm going to fight. In fact, John's footsteps because he was a fighter. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm 25, so obviously coming into the game a little bit late. But that doesn't mean I just put a pair of gloves on. I've been around boxing my whole life. Um, you know, messing around on the pads and that with my dad from a very young age, so I definitely know how to hold my hands up and all that but to take it seriously it happened about two years ago when obviously I didn't have much work on because of the lockdown and all that and then I had the opportunity to go and train so I went to go and train and I fell in love with it started sparring obviously my body came on doing all the training I had lots more confidence and I thought this is what I want to do so why not so that's what I'm going to be pursuing now. So just out of curiosity work wise what kind of stuff do, did you do? Before that I was doing a bit of everything really jack of all trades you know plastering um, landscape gardening, brick laying, all that sort of stuff, whatever I could get my hands on. Um, but obviously, it's here and there jobs, isn't it? So this is a better path for me, 100%. Whilst you've been out working, has anyone ever come up to you, damn man, you look just like Tyson? Nah, not to be honest with you. A lot of people do say it. Uh, you said it yourself, but I can't see it. Um, obviously, more than Tyson than Tommy, which a bit gutted about, but um, nah, not really. Not a lot of people. So, fighting-wise, what can we expect to see from you? Because, like, Tommy and Tyson are completely different fighters and your dad is slightly different as well. What can we expect to see from Roman Fury? Well, I'm looking to learn all parts of it. I don't want to just be a rangy fighter or a long fighter. I want to be able to fight all aspects of different opponents, bring out different parts of your game, don't we? So, I'm just practicing everything, really. Um, but I'd say naturally I'm more of, you know, a boxer rather than a puncher and all that. But we'll see. And is it your daddy going to be training with? Yeah, partly my father, um, Steve Egan as well, a lot of boxing experience, trained Tyson as well uh, early on. And uh, Jimmy Arrington is my also manager from Lancaster. And just tell us about your dad. You know, yesterday I think Dillian White's offered his dad to fight your dad. Your dad's ready for any smoke, isn't he? Listen, he, he doesn't know his age, does he? He's the gamest man you'll ever see in your life. Um, he was ready to kick off yesterday. It's just that's the type of man he is, that's what he's been brought up around, that's his DNA. He's a very proud man, so. We'll have to see how it goes on today at the way and um, I wouldn't be surprised if something happened, you know. What I like about your dad is, I'll tell you what, if I, if I ever was in any shit and if he was my guy, he's the first person I'd be ringing because I know he'd be there. Yeah, he's always got your back no matter what. He could be him on his own or him with another person, he's a hundred men, he'll get stuck in and that's always guaranteed. So a very good man to have on your side, I'm saying, you know. Top man, Roman. Well, don't want to talk too much about the fight because you're going to pick Tyson so the fans are probably expected to say that so I just wanted this to be about you mainly so I'll catch up with you and I look forward to your journey I'm guessing what we're talking this year maybe next year oh, in the next few weeks hopefully oh, okay. and then I've got something lined up I'm just waiting to have that little tick to say um, I can box and I'll be on shows very soon oh wow so Roman Fury is ready to make his debut in the next few months imminently I'm basically ready. I'm ready tomorrow honestly I'm constantly training constantly in the gym and I'm very hungry for it this is why I don't want people to mistake that I'm doing it for the wrong reasons, you know, because if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, it's not a game. You can get badly hurt, so I'm in it for the right reasons. I'm taking it very seriously, and I can't wait to show people what I've got. One last question for you. I just thought, t give me one thing from John, Tyson, and Tommy, that if you could take one thing from all three, three of them, whether it's boxing skill or something in their personality, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, for Tyson, I'm definitely saying... I want to say he's boxing ability, but his balls, you know, he's got big balls like King Kong, my dad said, and it's very true. Um, but I'd have Tyson's boxing ability, his heart, I'd have my dad's aggression and gameness and all that. Um, and Tommy, his, his ability to keep calm, he's a very calm, collected guy, and he's, you know, for such a young guy as well, he's quite, you know, uh, what's the word, um, mature for his age, and he handles the occasion quite well, so, yeah.
if you had all them three, I think it'd be unstoppable. That's a pretty lethal combination, and he is pretty mature because he said yesterday he was 22. Andy's looks, sorry, Andy's looks. Andy's looks yeah. Yeah. Tommy's looks, I'm, I'm sure if he's watching, he'd be pleased with that. But yeah, I'm surprised myself that he's 22. It's crazy what he's done for a 22 year old. Yeah, yeah, because don't forget, he's still relatively like new boxer. You know, he didn't have that many amateur fights, and since Love Island, it's all been catapulted into the pressure cooker. And you know, he's taking it well because. It's all brand new to me a year ago. He, he's, he's, oh, whenever he come out of Love Island, his life is completely different, like completely other ends. You know, he's getting four buses a day to go to a boxing gym at the start of his boxing career, and then he's come out on cameras, millions of followers. So he's doing remarkably well. So I can only learn off him as well. Well, the Fury sm family are smashing it from all angles. Keep doing your thing, and I look forward to your journey. Thank you very much, mate. God bless.